What is up, everybody? Welcome to Rev Time. Um, today, I wanted to talk about uh, my Callings 335 and why I dig this guitar and, and why I actually like 335s in general. And then I, I'd also love to hear from you guys about you know how you feel about 335s and if if, if you're into them, like who are the cats that like drew you in? You know, for me, uh, it was probably Robin Ford and Larry Carlton. Uh, Lee Rittenauer, uh, John Schofield, though John, uh, you know, gravitated towards the, the Ibanez's, but it was still essentially a 335, and that's, and that's really what uh, this is for the most part. My callings, uh, I 35. Um, there's just something I, I think the first thing I really dug about just a 335 in general is. Um, <laughs> I mean, of course, they sound great plugged in, but just acoustically, I love to just sit and play them. Because, you know, you didn't have to plug it in. It, it made just enough noise and was just uh, expressive enough that you could just sit and play one. Um, so that was kind of a big part of it, uh, obviously. I shouldn't say obviously, but in my opinion, if I could only have like one Gibson out of all the Gibsons, it would either be, uh, I'd probably have to go with either an SG or a 335, uh, mainly because they're more versatile. Like an SG is kind of, it's less kind of tubby and wooly than a Les Paul as much as I love a Les Paul. Um, 335 is kind of the same thing. You can cover a lot more ground. And if I had to really go between like an SG and a 335, I'd probably go 335 because I can just sit with it, as I just mentioned, and, and play it acoustically. But when I use it, you know, plugged in, obviously, it, um, it just covers a ton of, of ground. Um, now, this guitar, obviously said it before I'm just say it again this is not a Gibson 335 this is a Callings 335 or i35 but it's really kind of modeled after the 335s this one doesn't have you know typical Gibson PAF pickups in it, it this one actually has a throwback I want to say uh, SEL 101s so they're uh, actually a little bit hotter to me than like a what I would consider like a like a vintage PAF but they still sound great. And, and the main thing is like right now I'm on a neck position tone. It's just so clear and, and just beautiful sounding on its own. Now I will say I'm using my Tilt Boost into uh, my Rev D20 and the D20 is going straight to the old television set, direct out. Um, the IR that I'm using is the one I always use, which is that 4x12 IR that I put together, uh, you know, when these amps first came out. I, it's my favorite IR. So that's that's what you're hearing. Uh, reverb and delay is coming from uh, my pedal board. If you go to like middle position. Uh, bridge it's got that bark that I'm, I'm used to hearing from like 335s you know and I think what it is too is uh, 335s in general or I should just say hollow bodies in general but you know specifically 335s because that's what we're talking about they just I tend to play those differently than if I pick up a Les Paul or, or a Strat, or whatever it may be. It just kind of brings a different side of me out. Um, and it's, you know, right when I picked this up, I was drawn to play this kind of stuff.
just something about the way it feels and sounds. And then of course, if you add some, uh, you know, some dirt to it, I'll turn on the other side of my tilt. <laughs> just has that like I said it's got that kind of bark to it now of course you know 335s aren't completely hollow they have a center block and then basically the wings are hollow uh typically I, I i hope i'm not wrong i don't think i'm wrong typically on 335s they were all uh laminate tops they were you know uh like a maple cap on top of almost i guess it would be either plywood or mahogany um and in this case with this guitar you can get like a you can get a callings uh that isn't what would be considered like an lc i guess um and that would be a solid maple top, but this one is actually a, a laminate, just like the old guitars. And there's just something to that sound. There's something about that uh, that's just really cool. And I was actually very impressed that uh, Callings actually offered that as an option with uh, the I-35s they were building. Um, so not to bore you, maybe I already have. Um, this guitar came about because they actually sent it to me to check out. Uh, uh, Mark Athens was kind enough uh, to send this thing to me. It's been quite a while ago now. And uh, when I got it, honestly, this isn't really my thing. When it comes to a 335, I just want like a plain top, maybe like a tobacco burst or blonde, no crazy flames or, or fancy inlays and, and binding and all that stuff. Um, so I, I, I will say I wasn't like completely turned off when I opened the case, I was like, ah, oh, that's not really my thing. But when I got it out and played it, uh, it just played remarkably well. I mean, it's a calling. So, you know, I guess I, I should have saw that coming, but anyways, when I played it, I was pretty smitten by it. Um, and, uh, inquired as to how I might, uh, acquire it. And, uh, it turns out this one had a bit of a, a catastrophe uh, as it was being made apparently I, I don't know what had happened but it, it got a crack in the heel and you really you can't see it it took me forever to find it uh, when Mark mentioned what had happened but long story short I was able to get this thing it was still expensive <laughs> but I was able to get it at just a really really great price and they were kind enough to allow me to uh, actually make payments on it, which was was awesome. But that's how I ended up um, acquiring uh, this guitar. And it, it is, it's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just, it's pretty hard to, to fault this thing, all the craftsmanship and the lines. I really love the way they did this heel with the binding and the way it came around because it is, you know, it's, it's based on a 335, but at the same time, it's it's you know, it's a callings and it's it's got all the callings kind of trademarks as far as craftsmanship and playability and obviously uh, you know materials. It's 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 a really really nice guitar. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to talk about you know 335s. I didn't want to do like a deep dive into the history of them or anything like that. But um, as I mentioned before, um, I would love to hear from you guys about you know, what you think of 335s. And, and once again, who were you into? Like what drew you to a 335? I mean, I can think of like Dave Grohl, but, but Dave was, was basically playing what, you know, the Trini, uh, which essentially is a 335, but, you know, a little different headstock and all that stuff. So there's Dave Grohl. But yeah, uh, yeah, let me know, uh, you know, what you think about 335s and, and all that, or just hollow bodies in general. What are you guys digging? And as always, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and uh, we'll